All right, so we just have two more problems left in our notes for um, outcome three, component three, part one. So remember that we're doing with substitution method here. So if I want to solve this using substitution, I need it to either be x equals or y equals. So if we look here, this y is going to be real easy to get by itself. So I'm going to get this y by itself. Now, if I want to get this y by itself, I need to move this negative 3x. And in order to move the negative, I need to do the opposite, which is addition. So I need to add 3x to each side. So that gives me the equation y equals 1 plus 3x, right? Remember, you can't combine these because this is an x and this is a 1, so we're not allowed to combine them. So now that I have y equals, I can now take this equation, y equals 1 plus 3x, and put it in this y spot here. So I'm going to take this equation and plug it in for y here. So that gives me negative 9x plus 3y, but instead of y, I'm going to put 1 plus 3x equals 1. All right, so I took this equation and I put this in for y. Now we know I need to distribute this plus 3 to both of our parentheses, so that gives me negative 9x. Positive 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. Positive 3 times 3x is positive 9x equals 1. Now remember, we're going to combine like terms on either side. So on this left-hand side, I have negative 9x and positive 9x. So when I add those together, they cancel. It gives me 0x's. So then all I have left is 3, and all I have left here is 1. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that should be looking kind of funny, right? I don't know, but 3 is not the same as one. Those are not equal. Now, when this happens, that doesn't mean we made a mistake. When this happens, that means that our system has no solution. Essentially, what's happening is that, remember that when we're solving systems, it's we're looking for where do they cross? Where do they connect? So if there's no solution, that means that they never cross, they never connect which means that they're parallel. Okay, so if this happens, this is a false statement, this is not true, then that means there's no solution. There is no time that these two lines will cross. Okay, let's do the last problem now. So number four, same thing, we're gonna start by trying to get this y here by itself. So to get this y by itself, I want to move the 6x by subtracting 6x to each side. When I do that, I get y equals negative 22 minus 6x. Now that I have that, I'm going to take this, because this is equal to y, and I'm going to plug it in for y right here. So I'm going to take this equation... negative 12x minus 2, but instead of y, I'm going to write negative 22 minus 6x equals 44. Then I have to distribute. we got to distribute this negative 2. So we have negative 12x. Negative 2 times negative 22 is positive 44. Negative 2 times negative 6x is positive 12x equals 44. Now remember, now I'm going to combine like terms, so I've got negative 12x, positive 12x. Those cancel just like they did over here with the 9s. So that leaves me with 44 and 44. While over here, 3 was not equal to 1. That was not true, so that meant no solution. Well, this time that is true. This is true, right? 44 does equal 44, so when that happens, we say that there are infinite solutions. What that means is that every single solution that you could think of, every single ordered pair is going to make this true. So essentially in this problem, remember we're looking for where do they cross. So if they never cross, then that means they're parallel. This is saying they always cross, which means our lines are the same, 
right? One line is graphed right on top of the other one. So every single point that you could possibly think of on this point is gonna be is gonna work. So there's the same line. So if they're exactly the same, then it has infinitely solutions, infinitely many, right? So for example, if I gave you y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals 2x plus 1, they're the same line, so they would have infinite solutions.